This is Code Combat. I'm currently working on Web Development 2, Level 14, Tagulation. Goals. Click the H1. Click the H1. Click the image. So H1's largest text. Oh, it doesn't do anything yet. Click the image. Nothing. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. Toggle class expand on H1. Okay. Toggle class function adds and removes a class depending on if the element doesn't or does have a class respectively. Ah, this is going to be tricky, but let's get going. So, let's see what our code is here. Toggle class expand on the H1 tag by using the head header variable we just created. Woo, that's confusing. All right, so what's this header variable? We do have this variable, right? It's called header. What's it reference? H1. Huh. That must be the H1 in our HTML. So I'm going to scroll down. Beneath styles, the HTML. H1. Ah, notorious P-U-G. That's what it's referencing. So the variable header actually means this text in between, or any text in between an H1 tag. Okay, so what do we want to do with header? Toggle class expand on the H1, which is the header, on header variable by using the Oh, they have that. We just created. Okay, now how do I toggle class expand? Huh. Well, if I look up here on image, okay, that must be what they're doing there. Image dot, so I'm going to try that. Header dot toggle class expand. And a class is somewhat like an ID, right? It is part, you give it to an HTML element. So a class is somewhat like an ID. Let's click around here. Whoa, they both expanded. Oh, okay. Use on click header to call the toggle expand. Okay. So now header, just like they have for image above, dot on uh, click dot toggle expand. I guess. Let's try. Oh, yeah, it works either way. Ooh, 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 ooh. Incomplete, complete. So I want to explain, though, how this works. And this is important. So don't go on yet. You need to know, what's this doing? Why is it expanding? What's this toggle class expand? What we need to take a look at, what we need to take a look at is down here. We create this class in CSS, right? This stuff is actual traditional CSS. If it's between style and style, it's CSS. And what we do is we have this class for HTML where the width is 100 and the font is that big. So what we're doing here is saying, hey, in the code, right? The code is in between script and script. Toggle class expand function grabs whatever HTML element. So image, it's grabbing the IMG, whatever is IMG down here. Header is grabbing whatever is H1, and it's giving it a class expand. So if I were to, on this, do class equals, in quotes, expand, in quotes, this will always be big because the CSS is always going to apply to it, right? But that's not what we did. We toggled it. We gave it that class only on click in the code. Super cool, right? So run more time. Awesome. Onward we go.